it's not every day that you have Perez Hilton in your office and then you have a Harvard professor who knows everything about the brain and, and of course about genes, Rudy Tanzi, the Kennedy Professor of Neurology at Harvard Medical School and the Director of Genetics at uh, uh, Mass General Hospital Harvard and of course everyone knows Perez. And we were just talking about uh, how you can actually change your brain through motivation. Perez was saying that he's really programmed his brain so that he lost 80 pounds, yeah. 80 pounds, and now he kind of knows that he's programmed his brain to build up his muscles, and uh, and uh, he's uh, very confident that anyone else can do it. Do you think so? I know so. I mean, I, I, I'm surprised. I'm not surprised I did it. Actually, one of the biggest motivators for me was visualization. I literally was visualizing the future in my ideal body, in my brain, and it, I didn't even think that was real, but I was like, let me work on it, let me just try it. And then fast forward four years later, and it's real. And what I was saying is that I reprogrammed my brain as to how I think about food. I don't view food as a reward anymore, although it's still pleasurable and enjoyable, and you should, appreciate it but it's more of like now I'm as excited about finding healthy pleasurable things to fuel my body because I'm, I'm one of those cheesy people now mm. who look and think of my body as a temple I really do that's wonderful I, and I never th and, and for me you know this whole di process of discovery that I've been on has been about coming to terms with everything, what, how I view the world, how I view myself, how I view others, and I'm, for me, I'm viewing it in terms of energy. And if you view it in terms of energy, I really do view going to the gym, for me, as like going to church, because you're releasing so much energy, and you're also getting energy back. And it's such a powerful, spiritual thing for me to work out that I never thought of it that way before, and I used to dread working out, but now I've really become the person that loves working out. So Rudy, let me ask you, you, you know, you're a brain guy, a neuroscientist, what he's doing is creating new neural networks in the brain, isn't it? I think the key to what you said was, instead of just wanting it, um, you're intending it. So you're training your neural network in a repetitive way to reshape. And, and, and physically, your neural network has reshaped. So, Rudy, this is what you call long-term potentiation of neural networks, right? Well, long-term potentiation is happening at each individual synapse, and the repetition is allowing those new synapses to solidify and create a new form of a neural network, but now it's no longer reward. The other, the other good thing you did was instead of punishing yourself, saying, I love this food, it's a reward, but I'm not going to have it, I'm going to penalize myself, you reprogrammed your brain to say, no, it's just not a reward, I want to eat it, and and suddenly, you know, new foods that weren't rewards before, like you were saying, dates, dates I love dates rewards, <laughs> right? Because you reprogrammed, and the brain. But I want to ask you a scientific time. question yeah. here, which is great. The science is that as he does that, even the visualization, he turns on certain genes, doesn't he, in his brain, and he actually changes the structure of his brain. Part of you changing how your brain is wired. Not at the level of just not at just the level of the cells, the nerve cells, and how they uh, connect, but at the gene activity in those nerve cells to support that neural structure to stay and keep evolving. Well, one of the the things that these two really smart people said though is something about long term potentiation. Yes, the key is long term. Like yeah. the more repetition. you do repetition, the more you do it, the longer you do it. What he's saying is the long term potentiation actually changes the hardwiring. It hard does, wiring but it doesn't brain. happen immediately. No, and no, I think a lot exactly of people right. want or expect exactly. things to happen immediately or quickly. That's and it, for, for me, in my personal journey, it's taken over four years. So that's a long time, but it's worth it. I it's literally, it. I'm happier than I've ever been in my whole life. I've even begun meditating. I've been doing it for close to a month now. That's amazing. And I love that because it's, different and it well it was challenging at first but the best thing I found for myself personally meditating
which I didn't expect this to is, well, I also tell people what I, for me and everything I do, do what works for you. Yes. And if you're told to do this, but that doesn't work for you, don't do it for you. Yeah. For me, I'm doing 15 minutes a day in okay. the mornings. Some people say you should do it twice a day. Yeah, yeah. 15 yeah. minutes a day, but I love it. And I found that those 15 minutes a day, I take a lot of that space and energy and being with me throughout the entire day. Because I thought at first it would be the meditation was all about that, no, no. that time and right there. But I found that it is about that there and being there, but it's also t taking that inside me throughout the whole day. And that was like a big, another aha, like, wow, I couldn't, I didn't, that was awesome. There you are, guys. You know, you have Perez Hilton who hardwired his brain <laughs> and changed his gene activity. And as a result of that, changed his body. And you have uh, Rudy uh, telling us what happened in the brains with long-term potentiation. We'll come back with more later, but you can do it too.